Good morning and welcome to Ghost Hash Crypto Mining. Today I want to talk a little bit about what to mine. This is a website I use daily and I don't think I spend enough time talking about it. So I wanted to go into a little bit of detail about how I use it to make sure I'm getting the most profit out of my 4 gigabyte GPUs or 8 gigabyte GPUs, whatever I'm using to mine. But there's multiple ways I, I go about this and I'm constantly checking this throughout the day. So at the end of this video, I also want to show everyone how to mine Cardano on Unminable. I have gotten some questions and some comments asking how, how do I mine Cardano? Can, is it possible? And people ask all the time, can you mine Cardano? And the answer is yes and no. You can't mine Cardano directly because it's a proof of stake coin. It's not a proof of work coin. What you can do is you can mine on Unminable and get paid out in Cardano. Of course, there's fees associated, so you won't get max payout like you would as if you were mining the actual coin itself. But anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this. So we're working with six fi RX 570s for this video uh, at least on what to mine we're gonna mine on unminable with the uh, GTX 1070 and we're gonna leave it mine for about 24 hours and check the profits but anyway I select so the way this site works let me give you a quick rundown this is what to mine.com here you select what you're mining with so GPU over here is a selection of all your GPUs um, you pick the GPU that you have or the the rig you just build the rig that you have on here For example, I have six I typed in six here RX 570s. So That's gonna give me The hash rate on all these algorithms here All right, and if you want to know profitability You just hit calculate and you look at this list here below. It's that simple guys. So up here, you type in your, so in this case, it's easy because it's in uh, all six are RX 570s. Um, it gives you the hash rate right here and it gives you the power usage and all that stuff. So when you go down here, you'll see profitability. Um, you want to compare this always to what you have on Hive OS. All right, so we can see here that we have a hash rate of 80.35 with a consumption power consumption of 692 watts. So 80.35 is a little off and these overclock settings are down guys. I have uh, issues with GPU 3. It keeps crashing my rig. So I've lowered the overclock settings right now because it's four o'clock in the morning and I don't have time to deal with it. I've been meaning to change the thermal pads on these for a long time. I just never got to all of them. Anyway, so we changed the stats to the actual stats here. And it'll give you the profitability. And this is a more accurate figure as it's going off of what your system is actually producing here in HypoOS. There you have it. This is how I use this. Now, the, these this fluctuates daily multiple times a day it's constantly moving uh, as far as profitability it changes all the time now we went over the GPUs we went over the hash rate and algorithms we went over how to make sure that it's equivalent on Hive OS and what to mine.com but in order to get an accurate figure, you have to check your electric bill and put an accurate number here for what you pay for electric kilowatt hour. For me, the default is 0 0.10. That is what I pay. But if yours is different, you want to change it there. So here it gives you all the relevant information. It's going to give you it's going to give you profitability. It's going to give you uh, difficulty, network difficulty. 
but and then here you'll have a plethora of coins that you can mine keep in mind most of these are going off of stock settings not what you would actually do so it would be a good idea for you to actually try these coins that you want to mine because your hash rate is going to differ from what this says it will and so is your power consumption so i wouldn't go off of this number as an end all for um, making your decision i would try it out and see if you can actually improve the hash rate that's listed and get a higher profitability keep in mind that everything is multiplied if you're building multi-card rigs so if you can squeeze an extra quarter out of one of your cards and you have a 12 card rig well guess what that's a few bucks anyway this is the quick rundown on what to mine and how i use it i don't know if anybody else uses it, uses it any differently uh let let me know i've never uh dove into this stuff here so i try to make as many videos as i can a week guys i try to bring relevant information uh things that people need to know uh my goal here is to get as many people mining as possible so if we can start people off the way I see it with 4 gigabyte GPUs is the cheaper entry point. It gets them in the game, it gets them more interested, and it'll get them further along. Uh, it's all about development, and little by little that is achieved. And uh, But, I mean, we all got to start somewhere. And it's hard to start with the latest equipment nowadays. If we're being honest, there's a lot of competition demand is greater than supply so we are at the mercy of the manufacturers right now unless you buy used gpus and i found a great niche in four gigabyte gpus that works it's profitable and i found ways to multiply that profit and that's what i want to share with you guys so if you enjoyed my channel please subscribe and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up it means a lot to me and uh, I'll make sure to keep bringing you fresh content and keep putting money in your pocket. Again, none of this is financial advice. I just do what works for me and I share that when it works. So, anyway, let's get to mining Cardano. Alright, so we're going to choose our coin Cardano. Again, we're mining on Windows. This time, we're not using Hive for this. We're mining on Windows. I will do a tutorial on how to mine on unminable using hive os in the near future but for now we're gonna click eth hash and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the miner copy this now we want to go to the miner we're gonna use in this case it's t-rex and we're gonna do eth so we're gonna go just start a new eth you want to right click that and you want to hit edit this batch file so you're going to want to replace a few things here. One, you're going to want to replace this server address with this one. So we just copied it. Let's highlight this and paste. That's that. Secondly, you're going to want to put, you're going to want to change a few things. You're going to want to, well, you're going to want to put here your Cardano wallet here. Okay guys, so I got my wallet address in here, but just as a reminder, when you add your wallet address, keep in mind, we wanna change this, we wanna change this uh, stratum TCP to ethash.unminable.com.3333. Then you wanna add your wallet address, but before your wallet address, you wanna add ADA and a semicolon. So once that's all done, it's all set up. So once that's all done and it's all set up, you want to hit save as in this case, because we want to rename it unminable Cardano dot bat. Save as all files. Remember dot bat all files and save. Now you want to exit out of that. You want to go back into your miner, T-Rex miner, and you want to look for that file that you just created, unminable. It's going to be near the bottom, Cardano. Double click that. 
and we should be mining some Cardano. Let's give it a second to, to get going here. Let's get afterburner going so we can get our overclocks. So just as an FYI, this is what you will get mining on Cardano. Point zero point eight two six four one six ADA a day, twenty four point seven nine two four eight one ADA a month. That translates to one seventy seven a day, or fifty three dollars and eighteen cents a month. All right, overclock supplied. Let's see where we go. We're starting off with 24.94 mega hash. Mining on unminable using team. I mean, using T Rex. As I don't know if you guys know this, but T Rex is for NVIDIA GPUs optimized to get the most out of NVIDIA GPUs. In fact, you can't use AMD GPUs. To do it. All right, hash rate slowly increasing. We're up to 25.74 mega hash, 133 watts, and we're continuing to rise in hash rate. I uh, guys, I would advise that um, you don't use these overclocks for any GPU. Obviously, you want to look up the model of GPU that you have and see what the max uh, limits are for these uh, settings, and you want to you know adjust them accordingly so the way I overclock is I keep the power limit up at a hundred and I set it at you know about 75 percent of what the max is listed and I work my way up five percentage points until I start experiencing instability and then I move on to the core and do the same thing once I establish the stable hash rate I start reducing the power by 5% until I, you know, get unstable again. Then I know to raise it by 5%. And that's how I set my overclocks. Uh, again, I'll do a tutorial on that. I apologize. I have not done so. I try to put out as many videos as possible, guys. And I'm writing all these ideas down and we'll get to it. But anyway, this will continue to rise. I believe that we're going to get... Well, I lie. As long as I'm screen recording on this computer, we're not going to get more than 26.72 mega hash. But anyway, guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to mine on Unminable. Before I leave you, though, I want to teach you how to check your profits. So all you have to do, basically, is come over here and... You put your ADA address here, paste it, and this will give you your stats. Right now, it's picking up 27 mega hash, and this will keep track of payments. It'll tell you how much ADA you, you've earned, and um, that's all. Pretty much everything's here for you to keep track of. Just uh, punch your wallet address in on uh, Mineable, right here where it says address, and it'll pull up your mining stats. Anyway, I appreciate everyone sticking around watching to the end. Um, once again, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm going to be talking about new picks coming up this week that are going to 20x your mining profits. I don't know if you recall, but last week we called two in the Polkadot ecosystem. And we also mentioned D-Race. Both coins are doing great as we speak. Again, this is not financial advice, guys, but I'm here to tell you what works for me and encourage you to do some research to see if it will work for you. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.